Hi, this is Dr. Baker. This is a right hand threaded bolt. And today I'll be discussing the motion of bolts and screws as related to the right hand rule. So with this as a right hand threaded bolt, I know that if I rotate that bolt in the direction of my fingertips, then it should travel in the direction of my thumb. So if I hold on here to the nut and then rotate this bolt, once again, in a direction of my fingertips, then the bolt travels upwards. That would be the equivalent to righty-tighty, tightening the bolt as it travels forwards. Of course, we know if we reverse this and wanted the bolt to come back toward us, we'd rotate in the other direction. Many people know this is lefty-loosey, and so rotating here um, around the top this way, I'm gonna bring the bolt out. And so that's everything with a fixed nut. And so you can think about the nut versus the bolt relationship, that the nut is actually traveling in the opposite direction relative to the motion of the bolt. Um, so the first instance we looked at was a fixed nut with a bolt that was allowed to travel. So let's turn that on its head. We'll bring in a little ledge here so I can put the bolt against the edge of this book. Now the bolt will no longer be able to travel in this direction. And so now, I'm gonna hold on to the nut just so it doesn't rotate. And now if I rotate this bolt in a positive right hand rule direction, I want the bolt to go toward my thumb. So now I rotate this bolt. The bolt doesn't move, but you'll notice the nut is actually moving down here toward the head of the bolt, right? So we said that the nut is moving in the opposite direction of the bolt. So therefore, if we don't allow that bolt to move, this nut will travel down this direction, down toward the, the head of the bolt. Now, if I turn in the opposite direction, up over the top or lefty-loosey, we'll see the nut goes in the opposite direction and actually goes then toward the other end of the bolt. So it's traveling upwards. And so really what we've seen there is two different things. One of those is how we can use the right hand rule to think about both tightening and loosening bolts. And then also as we think about the motion of bolts versus nuts, that the nuts always move relatively in the opposite direction as the bolt. Now this had to do everything with a right hand threaded bolt. Of course, if we had a left hand threaded bolt, the motions would be exactly opposite. Maybe you wanna use your left hand in that case. Um, Left-handers celebrate. But either way, um, you can use a left-handed rule if you wanted to for left-handed bolts or opposite the right hand rule for left-handed bolts. But either way, we can work through bolts and our understanding of their motion using some of the principles from this video. Hope that helps.